considered, you know, doing this professionally. I continued to practice law in Chicago and started working in restaurants on the weekends just as a, yeah. like almost not stress relief, but like, you know, just an outlet. And I feel like there's probably a point in time and granted, I know there's a lot of people living a lot of lives, but I'd be willing to bet that like you were probably the only like full-time lawyer who was taking weekends to go work at a restaurant. Um, you know, like, probably like, more than you think. I remember yeah, I, in, I, in, I, in Lakeview in Chicago, the Chicago Barney stand with the best bar. I, I'm not a Cubs fan, but it's a Cubs bar. Right. The the bartender there, she was a lawyer, you know, working, you know, working in the bars on the weekends and like, stuff. And, like in law school or also a lawyer? No, she was a practicing attorney. Right. Yeah. Is this like a, a thing in the culture that I don't know about? She's like, actually I, the only one that not, I know. I've never been a lawyer. <laughs> I used to think that I would be a lawyer as a sm- very small Quincy um, and I ended up not being a Good lawyer. Call, dude. Um, Good I call. thought I would. I thought I would go that route, though. My <laughs> um, grandfather bought me some really thick legal books that I don't remember the name of. Maybe, maybe you would know them. Just like what, well, whatever the most common. You would have been great book. at that too, as you are at everything you do. That's so not true. I'm you would have been awesome. I'm great at very few things. I'm a very <laughs> specialized individual. Um, um, but I don't know if I'm doing a good job of books. But so I, um, you know, started working in kitchens. Um, just making sure and just like learning and, you know, getting into the professional cooking aspect again as, you know, as an adult. And then, right. um, was just loving it. So then I, um, got lucky to just squeeze my way into a couple of really great places to do that. And then I, um, I was like, well, you know, I'm in my thirties and, um, this is what I want to do long term. You know, I want to work at a couple at some great rest, you know, some really good restaurants and see what I can do and see right. how far I can get. So I thought like that as a to get a foot in the door to be taken seriously, I, sh- I need to have culinary school or something, which is not true it's not at, at all. all. So I went to have you a, ever looked at somebody's like where they went to culinary school? Like now that you hire people and look at resumes, yeah, like have you ever matter. like I've never once nothing against culinary school and, and it's great because like, I learned a lot and it was I had a great experience in the short time that I I was there. I went to Kendall College, which is a great culinary school right. in Chicago. It's one of the best. Um, but it just like doesn't matter. Yeah, it was. A, I made a lot of wonderful friends, and I did especially like the first. I think going for I went for like a like two quarters of it. Um, you know, doing it for a little bit was was a good was a good thing to do. It was a good experience. Right. But then I just for you the know, price. continued to just work in restaurants, and then I got a, an amazing opportunity at a one of the best restaurants in Chicago, and then just you know quit and just started and then just started doing that full time stop yeah. practicing i was going practicing law still while i was in you know going to school in the morning um so i just stopped and all that and doing it all like <laughs> school law colony school working in restaurants you used to talk about how i don't get any sleep nowadays i felt like you were getting very little sleep back then still yeah a lot of red bulls perhaps i guess so 